Hey, Om Prakash. Hi, Yoma. Thank you uh, for the call today. Um, I was uh, I was reflecting on our last uh, call that we had because we talk a bit about the um, mushrooms uh, essences uh, training, and uh, you brought up many different concepts and things, and uh, I was having more um, question about it. Um, mm. So yeah, the first thing I was wondering was. Um, because you talked a lot about the shadows and how the, the mushroom essences actually helps you and support you into transforming the shadow sides and bring the light. And um, I, I would like to know more about it, if it's possible. Yes, sure. And uh, actually, we need, first of all, to understand uh, a little bit better what is the shadow self? Or some other people call it also pain body, this inner energy pain body, the pain identity. So we can really learn how to work with it because yes, the mushrooms, the mushroom essences, they know how to transform the shadow self and the pain body. So basically the shadow self or the pain body is not something to be afraid of. <laughs> it's not something bad. Uh, it's also a part of us, a part that at some point of our life got traumatized. But in the beginning, it was a very healthy part of us. Like a very simple example that I can give, that I almost always give around this issue, is, uh, let's say, the quality of innocence. Like, we all, we all are born with this quality of innocence. And now, people that have been working with themselves and that are in this path of meditation or self-development, they can consider innocence as a very valuable quality. But, in the beginning of our life, as we were born with this innocence, people also took advantage of this quality of innocence. So we felt pain. And then we ended up considering that innocence is a bad quality. <laughs> Isn't that good to hang out into the world with innocence because other will take advantage of you and then you will feel pain and uh, frustration and all, other, all kinds of other things. So then what we do, we take this quality and we put it down into the shadow of the unconscious. We don't want it to come up because we're afraid that if we are with this quality in our life, we will experience pain. Mm. And then this quality becomes a shadow quality. It becomes a part of the shadow self or pain body. Actually, the, the pain body is the reaction that the shadow self is acting through into the world. So sometimes this uh, shadow self, which is created through this quality, let's say, of innocence that is pushed down into the unconscious, sometimes it will react through the pain that it had received. It will react with anger. It may react with all kinds of unhealthy behaviors and unhealthy ways of being. So this is how the shadow self is created and it interacts in our life through the expression of the pain body, through the reaction that comes with the pain that we have experienced in our life. So the shadow self needs to be healed. It needs to come into the surface. It needs to be held again into a loving atmosphere which it can be healed, appreciated, recognized for what it really is inside of its core. So that's what the mushrooms do. They help us to really let go of any unconscious fear, first of all, around the shadow self, around the pain body, 
so then we can really touch with love and understanding the shadow elements of our being and then we can bring them up into the conscious and then we can heal them and then we can integrate them with the rest of our being so what happens then we become a more whole and integrated being and we cannot really move forward into our path if we don't really heal our shadow side 